how to create before and after slider in a Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a widget of a before and after a slider in your Wix website. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you only need to uh, open your account or sign in into your account right there. Then you are going simply to choose the website that you want to add this widget to or this slider. So as you can see here, we are on the site's dashboard of my account. So now all I need to do is choose a website. If I don't see a website or you don't have a website, you're going to click on create a new site. Or you can go ahead and when you open the um, platform of Wix and sign in, you will get this page at first. You can go ahead and see that we have here the choice to work or use the standard Wix editor, or we can try the Wix editor itself. So in my case, I will not use a, a website uh, or create a website, but rather I will use a website that I have. So I will select that specific website I have, for example. Then we are going to see and land on the dashboard of that specific website. Remember something that every part or every website is independent from the um, website that you own. For example, if I set up the payment methods for this specific website, I will not uh, see or set up the payment method for all the website that I own. So make sure that you are going to set the parameters and also the editing to each one of the websites individually. Now back to business. Here we are on the Wix website. As you can see here, this is a portfolio website. So all I need to do is to select the specific area that I want to add the specific slider to it. Then we are going to set up uh, this for for example I'm going to add let's go ahead and add a empty section between this and this go ahead and add a section when you click on add section normally it will be set up right there uh, automatically and it will be of course uh, it would be right there um, empty so you are going to click on add element and here you can see that we have some interactive uh, slideshows right there or full width slideshows right there so we can go ahead and add uh, these slideshows if you want to add a normal slideshow but I will let you see here that we are going to add a code so we are going to select embed code we're going to click on embed HTML so right here we have added an HTML uh, normally Wix will not has the feature to let you create a slider or uh, to own or add a slider. So here we are going to use a third party website. Then we are going to create that specific widget. In my case, I will go ahead and use ElfSite. So ElfSite is a widget creator without coding, but at the end of the operation, you're going to get a code and that code is the HTML code that will, you will input into your website on Wix. So go ahead into Elf site, click on widgets. Then you are going to select the widget that you are, you are going to add. For example, here we are going to set before, after. Then we are going to search before we are going to set here. And as you can see here, we have the trending one, which is before and after slider. We are going to click on it. Then we are going to see the widget. Wait for it. Here we have the slider. We have uh, three types of slider. We have the retouch, which is a vertical slider. Here we have a, a horizontal slider. We have a list of work. This is not a, a, a slide. This is a slider, but it has multiple work. And here we have a product, for example, comparison slider. So we are going to use maybe the product comparison slider. Then we are going to use it. I'm going to click on create widget. Then we are going to confirm it, click on it, and then continue with this template. So right there, we have 
uh, set uh, a product, which is uh, the first image. Here we have the after and the before image. These images are stock. So I'll let you see here the comparison. If you want to change the image, you only need to uh, delete that specific image. Then you are going to upload your own image for the after and the before image. And here for the caption, you're going to see here the caption right away under the slider comparison of two popular sneakers models. You can go ahead and, uh, for example, comparison of two not popular but products. Just an example. Then we are going to click on done. You can add another set to add to the slider. You can add to a heading. You can see here the um, the layout. You can select the width of it. You can go ahead and, and see the settings and set the image ratio. Here we have a lot of uh, formats. You can set the direction, vertical or horizontal. You can go ahead and set uh, the uh, or edit the label position. You can add a divider and see that the divider here. We have the position of it. We are going to put it 50, which is the middle. You can go ahead and reduce the size of the divider. You can go ahead and separate and uh, show the arrows and etc. We have enter uh, interaction behavior right there. Drag and drop. You are going to drag and drop or hover and etc. For example, we have full screen mode. When you finish, you have also the style. You can customize the background. You can set the labels and also add some captions and see the controls. But right there, when you finish everything, you are going to click on add to website. And here it will give you an embed code. So we are going to wait for the website or the uh, here the widget to go live. Then we are going to click on publish. Here we have the pack. So we're going to use only the free one because we have the right to create only one um, specific widget for each type of widgets. Here we have the embed code. We have it. You're going to click on copy code. Then we are going to head over Wix. Here we have add your code here. We are going to paste the code right away. Click on update and we are going to wait. As you can see, it will be working. Here we have the comparison. We're going to make the uh, widget bigger. So I'm going to put it right there and make it bigger. So here we have. Now I'm going to extend this specific area or this specific uh, section to fit everything. And here we have the slider. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.